team. It's five guards, essentially. But, of course, Bob, when you talk about Cunningham and Likely, 6'8 and 6'4, both 220. McBride lost it. Sean McNeil found it. And now McBride of the rim, but can't finish on the layup attempt. Got to finish those. Got to finish. Cade Cunningham leans in. That's his first bucket. Oh, yeah, Bob. And that's exactly the kind of player he is. He is a man-child. Just that the uh, Mountaineers already shorthanded, Bob. Not only Shibway gone, but the freshman Cottrell out for the year with an Achilles injury. Good post. Neal, nice entry pass. And the layup goes for Culver. Now that's an advantage of playing four guards because that's a great spot for Sean McNeil to feed the post. And Culver made his defender disappear. Likely, yes. <laughs> How about that? Back-to-back -back baskets by the linebacker and the defensive end. McBride in the mid-range. And Emmett to the basket. Really well done. McBride Mickey. plays it. Some precocious freshmen, uh, Jalen Suggs, Scotty Barnes, all will be high picks. That team was coached by our friend Bruce Weber. Kansas State gold medal. Avery. And if I'm Mike Boynton, I try to attack Culver either with Boone or those guards getting down here right there. In Texas and then became one of the best high school basketball players in the state of Texas. Now, here he is playing for Mike Boynton at Oklahoma State. And he's got a good challenge tonight because he's guarding Deuce McBride. Culver through a double yeah. team. Just too a little too strong, and Anderson's yep. got the rebound. Too much traffic. He can post up. Likely does just. It's the fourth year that Hugs is on the ballot for the Naismith yeah. Hall of Fame. Is this finally the year where the phone rings and it's the right answer? Well, he's the Susan Lucci of college basketball coaches, Bob. <laughs> Come on. It's, eventually it's going to happen. Yes. Now, listen, he's a Hall of Famer. He's getting in. There's no question about it, whether it's this year or next. It's coming. There's five coaches in the history of the game that have more wins. Hall, I don't think there's any question about it. Last year it was Eddie Sutton's turn. Coach Sutton deserved to get in. He did. And I think Bob Huggins is coming soon. And then we'll start talking about Mark Few and Jay Wright. All also, no doubt about it, Hall of yes. Famers at some yep. point. Culver, offensive rebound. The putback rolls off Caleb Boone. He picked up two in that trip alone. So Caleb Boone will sit down in some early foul trouble as Kate Cunningham goes to work. Sets up Anderson from the corner. That's an airable control. And numbers the other way for West Virginia. Matthews comes up short. Back the other way comes Bryce Williams again. This time a little Euro step. Again, can't finish. And it looks those offensive rebounding numbers for West Virginia. Then Culver is. Back tap ends up near midcourt. McBride was after it. Matthews lost it. Here comes Kate Cunningham. Watch his vision. He'll go to the line. The skip pass. Ends up with one off the heel from nice Sherman. Pass. Offensive rebound, and Emmett Matthews is able to finish. Again, a second chance basket for West Virginia. Yeah, good, good. A very fortuitous bounce, and Deuce McBride knows what to do with it. Cunningham hit point guard posting up. I like that. A steal by Cunningham. Skip to the corner. They like playing with each other. They both have to be aggressive offensively. They're the two best players on this team. And it looks like Mike Boyden is going to try to buy likely a little bit of rest as we are next whistle at the under 12 timeout. Culver fed the baseline, ends up with the loose change. Even that situation there, if I'm Kate Cunningham, I got to look to shoot that ball. Without likely right now, he's got to dominate. 
Cunningham out of the double team, and it looks much about he's not an elite NBA athlete. He's certainly above average, and he's certainly good enough of an athlete to be an outstanding NBA player, no question. But uh, what I love about him is he's going to be a great teammate because he plays the game the right way, really unselfish. You know what he reminds me of? He, he's a offensive version of Marcus Smart in that you're going to love being with him on the offensive end. He will make you look good. The way Marcus handles that defense for Brad Stevens. Well, certainly has the dimensions of an NBA player. No question about that. And there he is playing the part of being unselfish. Keelan Boone can't knock down the three. But Cunningham has the offensive rebound. Sends it right back outside looking for an assist. And Farron Flavors couldn't hit a triple either. Ice cream man is in the game. 31 flavor. <laughs> if, if there's one thing I should be, like my antenna should be up for, it's if you start making Fudgy the Whale references. That's my ballpark. An and one opportunity for Caleb Boone, or rather Keelan Boone. Keelan Boone. Take a look at this little roll to the hoop, pick and roll down the lane. Deuce McBride a little late and a nice finish by the other twin. Keelan more of an outside player. Culver's floater, too strong. Here comes Kate Cunningham the other way. Gives it up to the wing. And I guess Bryce Williams to go in the first half. See, Bob, this is where I want Cunningham and Likely involved in terms of scoring. And now Cunningham takes over with seven to shoot. Five on the shot clock. He's double teamed. He's in trouble. Throws it into a dead spot on the court. It's going to be a shot clock violation. Of uh, Jalen Bridges. Culver, the first player in double figures for West Virginia. He's got 10 points and eight rebounds already here in the first half. Cunningham at the elbow. Knocks it down. Yeah. And draws another foul, so he'll go to the line. Watch Cunningham. A great pass. Watch the defense now in rotation. We call that scrambling the defense. Get him moving, and then it comes right back to Kate Cunningham, and that's what I think Mike Boynton wants to see more of. And again, Bob in the four games that he missed as weaving inside is Kedrian Johnson. But as we all know, Fran, as like a really dangerous team and maybe would have been one if the Big 12 championship had been allowed to proceed back in March. But of course, we all know what happened as likely, uh, uh, you know, somebody else on him as to who he is. The NBA needs more Patrick Beverly's, don't they? As the shot clock's winding down, Emmett Matthews gets caught. It's out of bounds and with 14 and at Lubbock and he had 17 points to 96 for six and that's what they need from him. It takes a lot of pressure off of Cade Cunningham. He gives it up to Cunningham here. Ranked him in the top 60 last year. Did our ESPN guys. Good job. Good job by Cunningham right here. Fought his way through the screen. And an offensive foul is called on Kedrian Johnson. Likely takes the charge. How about the teamwork? How about the ball pressure first? And then I'll tell you, you love when a guy fights. Watch him get through this screen. You love that. Keep coming, keep coming, get in front. And then, hey, I need help. Okay? Nice likely. Talk about being points. And now 10 rebounds in the first half. And sixth double double of the season so far. Let's see if they double him. Likely pulls up. So the game is likely up top again. Yep. Zone defense, matchup zone. Anderson can't connect. Another rebound for Culver. That is his 11th rebound to go with 11 points. McBride pulls up. That's off the heel. That's okay. He's got to get aggressive. He fouled himself out of that first half with the two fouls. So he can afford to be aggressive offens uh, offensively. Cunningham for three. Now the key for the Mountaineers is how do you get the ball to Culver? McBride with the left hand. Yep, I like it. He's got to be assertive. When he's assertive, it'll open up the three-point shooting and that inside game. And now he's got the rebound. He was only one for six in the first half, McBride, so getting him off to a ball career, and of course basketball now is his sport. He was getting football offers, I think, Fran, wasn't he, before yeah. 
the ankle injury and then he ends up he was coming him in both the semis and the finals 18 in the final and here's the kicker 88 and 4 as a high school basketball player at Mola playing for Carl Kramer a great uh, great program is that good 88 and 4 well, you wouldn't know because you and I are, you cover the Jets and I'm a Jets fan. So. You know what that was? I just lobbed it up there as an alley-oop and you just hung from the rim. Oh, I could not have put I, that more on a platter for you. I feel your pain, man. I, I can't wait for the NFL draft. Cunningham with a grip. trying to throw West Virginia off rhythm. Nice shot fake by McNeil, but he couldn't hit the wide open three. And he was a sniper in junior college. Oh, almost and had Matthews, that. really nice in defensive transition, but gave it right back to Ice Likely. The lob. Right, NBA that friend texted me at halftime and, and said, Cunningham, he's not right here, is called for a foul of Bryce Williams. But he ends up with the loose ball. And a fresh shot clock for Oklahoma State. Cunningham drives it. Strength through the reach in from Emmett Matthews he's able to finish looked like that was a steal nice hasn't gotten there often enough so he didn't have enough attempts but he was shooting 92 percent at the line coming into tonight as Cunningham with the left hand oh able to get yeah, it to go over Culver with the offhand Culver to the baseline throws it down Good spin. I love the fact that he moved before the double came. He went opposite of the double team, created space on the baseline. That's one way to defeat a double team is make your move before the second defender comes. Step oh back from Cade Cunningham. Oh boy. Yep. We're seeing the whole repertoire tonight, Bob. 19 points, nine shots. McBride. <laughs> 13 times now, in fact. Yep, throw it in there. He'll nah. try a 15 footer. That have had a championship game. Yep, he was certainly at the top of the list along with Trevor Lawrence. And we gave some credit to Chuba Hubbard, another guy that had a big role. And that's all he does. He is a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> like Jim Brown. Never that's right. That guy? It's like a Jim Miles Brown. McBride <laughs> can't connect to... end of this season, right? I, I don't know. That, can you spring the hearing on them just on the verge of going to the tournament? Well, listen, I don't think they guys and the penalty that Alabama got for a similar type of transgression No scholarship reduction and no NCAA ban and by the way the show cause order on the Alabama Administrator just so happens he happened to be a full contest at the rim by Kedrian Johnson back the other way comes Taz Sherman he gives it up McBride from the Matthews Long rebound, oh, but the touch pass and Taz Excellent. Sherman is able to get it to go. Good effort on the glass and, and converting an offensive rebound, something that's been uh, rare tonight because the effort level has been outstanding. Watch the hustle. Great round. look from Kedrian Johnson, and there's McBride hustling. At college basketball's on the bench. Who knows for how long? And by the way, Bob, with all this guard athleticism out there. We may see a little bit in the last eight minutes of press Virginia. Oh, they're hounding. Yes, I think they have to morph into this type of team, Bob, going forward, because outside of Culver, the strength of this team is the five or six perimeter players we've seen step up tonight, including this young there. Off the side rim. Rondell Walker may have gotten away with one as he lost his footing, but likely missed the lay layup anyway. And now I would scramble this game up. Caleb Boone on the floor with four fouls as well. So two of the three players with four fouls. The game they had one. Cunningham has not had wins over back to back top 25 teams since 2015. Tough and pass, they create the turnover pass. here. Cunningham lost it though. And Culver gets a gimme. And a reset for West Virginia. Johnson. Shot clock fire. And they didn't get the benefit of a reset shot clock. That's probably a fair point. Cunningham for three. And offhand jump hook by 
Derek Culver. Pressure's on the Cowboys now. Too easy. Cunningham drives it. Lost it. But the West Virginia Mountaineers have lost some opportunities on the glass. That's a walk. Cunningham gives it up. Likely. And the poise, Bob, that's the thing I like about the way he's matured as a junior. Jumping yeah, over well. the top to get the steal is Osaboyan. McRide with a shot fake. And he four fouls, so Fran, someone was fouling out here. <laughs> exactly. I thought originally Kate Cunningham committed the foul, but you see he avoids contact. Now watch the end of this play. Caleb Boone, who by the way is a nice player, he's pointing at Kate Cunningham to tell the referee he fell early second half. West Virginia's they, got it all yeah. the way down to two, and they continue to pressure. And here's Kate Cunningham working on Culver. Culver's done a good job. Crosses him over. Culver good stays job. home. No room for Cade Cunningham. He gives it up to Likely, five to shoot. Likely gets shut down on the baseline. Has to force up a tough one. Huggins or inside to Culver. It's a matchup zone. Someone's getting an open three. There it is from the corner. And it goes. They found a formula without Oscar Shibway going forward. I love the small lineup. Cunningham can't answer. A chance for the Mountaineers to extend their lead. Get the ball to Deuce or Culver. Uh-oh. McBride. Oh. Failed. Two and a half minutes without a point for Oklahoma State. How did they respond now? Here's the freshman going to work. Cunningham. Muscles out of the play. And Tash Sherman right on the money. Sherman's got 20. I like I like McBride to make a play here. Maybe Sherman on the down screen. Well, he's got it with five to shoot. McBride hunting his shot. Fades away. Got it. How about that? Money, money, money. Winner. Two, two possession lead with under a minute to go. Cunningham a step back three. In and out. Offensive rebound. Oh. Up with Cunningham also 6'8". Cunningham drives it, leans in. Osaboyan blocked it, but a foul will be called. Did they, did they got a charge? They do. West Virginia's reacting as if Cade Cunningham just fouled out. Osaboyan forced to drive. Let's take a peek at who stepped in. And this is reviewable. This play, block charge, uh, restricted arc play, is reviewable. Let's take a look. Johnson is set. He's outside the arc from what I can tell and this should be an easy call for John Higgins Take a look set before he leaves his feet outside the arc easy call and Kedrian Johnson 